How you doing? I'm Hassan, and I'm an American chauffeur. We're going into a new year, so I want to wish everybody happy new year. All those who have, all those of you who have subscribed, and those of you who have liked, and those of you who are viewing and watching and everything, and I thank you for that. Uh, so go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, you know, I do want to make add some other little nice things to my videos and get deeper with the stuff. So uh, if you want to help me out, there's uh, my cash app on the screen. Uh, and then down in the description box is, you know, some other stuff where you can use to help me out. And I appreciate your support. Uh, so on this video, you know, there's been several things that have come to mind because there is so much and there's so many drivers huh, who aren't given, you know, any credence to who we are as individuals, as ride share drivers. Cause you know, you know, all you have to do is watch some of my other videos and then you'll see where I'm kind of breaking it down to you how special you are, especially as a chauffeur, because even a, a fewer percentage of us become chauffeurs. So um, that's beginning to come into play. The more and more that I learn how to market my services to people. Okay. Now here it is, 2024. And it's a big part of experimentation. I make, make, make money with marketing, lose money with it and everything until I find the right combination that works. So here we are here at experimentation. I want to find something that works and works honestly. I want to work with people who are honest and honorable and who are in the industry and want to really grow with the industry here, the transportation industry, okay? If you're in the industry and you're a ride share driver and you're a chauffeur, but you really don't, you know, you really ain't trying to build no business or nothing, you're just, you know, just making some money. Here, uh, education, if you want to move further, that part of yourself needs to be fed. Each one of these things is actually a part of yourself that needs to be fed. All I did is take advantage of ride share and I take advantage of being a chauffeur. So I can keep these things fed within my life, okay? All these things I have to remain aware of all the time in all areas of my life. Safety, health, service, education, and experimentation. See, for those of you who have subscribed and you watch my videos on a regular basis, you see this board back here, you know what's on it. I'm always talking about it. So like and subscribe so, so it'll help you to keep up because I'm carrying it even deeper. This is about you as a driver. Why? Why would I go to this length? Why would I do something like that? And I'm trying to be as careful as I can as I explain this to you. Let me move this off the board here. I might just, okay, well, hell, let me just go on here flipping on the other side. It might be a better way to explain it. <clears throat> just flip it on the other side of it. Now, as usual, if you're a rideshare driver, you know, and you drive, you know, for Uber and Lyft and some of these other rideshare companies, See if I get this. Okay, now, what I would like you to understand very cl clearly that when I present this to you, when I show this to you, I want you to understand and be very open-minded 
because these are different concepts from what you will hear on other videos. Other videos are their ride share videos. They're not supposed to talk about you having a good attitude and all that stuff. It's like something taboo about that. When you, you know, you just, oh, that's supposed to go without saying. No, you need to say it. You need to look in the mirror and say it to yourself every morning. You see what I'm saying? Because, see, this is something that I do. I got no problem with that. I know where I came from. Now, now everything is different for me. Okay, so when I started, I was one of these. I started, I hung in there, right, for a year, and I became one of four of a hundred. Uh, that end up making it in this thing because I had to constantly, one thing I noticed, I had to constantly look at myself and what I was doing because there's nobody training me. There's no one showing me how. Okay, no more than I'd be watching videos. And some of them say, nah, I don't handle luggage. They ain't paying me. They ain't paying me. So I ain't doing the luggage. You see, and then some say, get out, get the luggage and everything and do all that, get good service, you know. And uh, I was kind of crippled. <laughs> well, I had noticed people was doing that they own self. All I had to do was pop the trunk, they put that, gone. I said, oh, okay. That's okay, that'll work. <laughs> I said, okay, that'll work. You see what I'm saying? Well, I had to learn everything of what to do and what not to do, okay? One of the things that I had to do, this is part of the equation. We're going to think through this. I want us to think through this together because we're going into a new year and you want to be the best you can be because, you know, you're going to be under deeper, deeper. You're going to be under deeper financial, physical, spiritual or mental, so you're going to be under constant. That's going to be happening more and more. But this is the equation that you follow in here, okay? Your human energy, that's what you're putting into it. If you don't put nothing into it, you really ain't going to get nothing out. But so you put something into it, those things I have on the other side of the board, okay? These, then the number of hours, so your energy times the number of hours that you put in. This times the number of hours, it can be six hours, it can be 12 hours. Either way, you're going to see increase. You're going to see increase when you follow certain things that you do. I just want to spend six hours. You ain't no better employee. Waiting for the next raise. Uh -huh. Waiting for a holiday to come around so you can be off. Uh -huh. See? So you ain't nothing but, but here this is, not a, this is not a job. If you do it like a job, you're going to get what you get on the job. Okay. Then times the number of days. You do that 12 hours one day, however many days you're going to do it. I, I just put up to six days because I, I got it down to that point. Okay. I got it down to that point. And uh, see, then that's going to be like, that's going to tell you what your market, your market intensity, your market, you know, what your market will bear. Run it. Run it hard. Be honest with yourself. Huh? Don't just be on the side of town down there near Cascade, see if you get most work down there. Huh? Go up, go, go, over, go over there, go over there by Lakewood Stadium, see if it's popping over there. Uh, keep that car moving. Some people say, just sit in the place. Just sit and wait. Man, you got to roll. Otherwise, I do it. I do it like I'm a deep sea fisherman, man. I, hey, this where, this where they biting, this is where I'm going. This where they biting, this is where I'm going. See, that's basically the way I was. So the car was moving, but back during those days, back then, that was in 2017, they had, a had apps that helped you through that. Now Uber, they seem to have integrated some of them apps in together. That's what Uber and Lyft seem to have done. You know, so you can see where the hot spots are. I don't chase surge. I don't do that. I just happen to live in the area where it's always surging. <laughs> so I'm all good. It don't, please. I, 
as soon as I cut the damn thing on, it's go to pinging. So uh, we we have to we have to experiment. Like I've got that on the other side, but I want to finish up on this side right quick. As usual, I want you to know. See, I had to realize, and it took me a minute, and there was like I was being cut. I said, there are some people who ain't into it like this, and they may not clearly understand what, you, what you're explaining. So you have to be careful in your explanations. That's why, you know, I feel so very fortunate that I don't use all that profanity and stuff like that because people will use that to say, oh, well, I don't understand what he's saying because he's emotional about it. So uh, I want to be careful with that. So if you want to know what your market is going to bear, then roll it and roll it hard. Roll it seven. I rolled it seven. I rolled it seven to 16, baby. I done done it. You know how to work them apps? I was dual platforming, doing both Uber and Lyft. This is back when I was doing Uber and Lyft. I would do what you call dual platforming, okay? So you're doing both Uber and Lyft, and there was apps that would shut one off, and when you set the right or shut the other one, you know, do like that, and then you're using your head. But if you're on X, them apps is great. If you're on X, because you're getting hit constantly with rides, and you want to know the best rides and all that. So, uh, uh, yeah, I took advantage of using apps. I told you to keep that technology up. Uh, okay. Now, um, when it comes to doing it and you enjoy doing it, the ping is, it does not enslave you to go pick up a dollar or two. The ping says, now the ping says opportunity. See, because you're not a dog. Okay, so you enjoy doing it. You're working it. You're one of these who found something in it because those who didn't find anything in it, they gone. Man, what they, 96% of the people can't do this? And that doesn't tell you something about yourself? Huh? Tells me a lot of things. Huh? Okay, now. So, anyway. So you're one of these. You feel real good about it. Now you're one of these, huh? You're making good money, but you're not saying anything. You've moved out. You moved out the neighborhoods and seen your, seen your neighbors with their nose turned up because you done moved. You moved out of that apartment of where you was living, and they was all upset and turned up. Wondering, what the hell are you? I'm doing better. Ain't you happy for me? All right? But that ain't happening for you because you're one of the special ones. All right? Don't be playing. Don't be playing. I know the reason why you don't want to say anything about it. Okay, part, part of the thing that steals your voice huh, is them customers that get in that car. Huh? This thing is deep. So keep yourself up. Be proud of yourself. Know that you're one of them who made it. Huh? Huh? They're being trained by these people here. I'm glad they are, because all I got to do is open the trunk. They put the stuff in, jump in the car, and go on. That's when I was on UberX. Now I'm a chauffeur. I get out there. I'm like, man, I'm out there with that luggage, baby. So I didn't get, hit, get these hips fixed for nothing. Huh? Huh? I got two, two new hips. Boy, when you see them in the x-ray, they look like two guns. <laughs> see? So... Hey, I, I jump out glad, gladly jump out and get that luggage. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh-huh. Shoot, yeah. So the chauffeur is a different thing. Uh, it's okay, though. You know, I'm just, you know, just sharing my experience with you. Okay, so if you're a rideshare driver and you enjoy doing it and you know there's... Uh, don't have ill feelings about it. Know that there's plenty, there's plenty of people on YouTube. You can, hey, look, I'm gonna feel my day watching them videos or whatever the case may be of someone that is encouraging you, huh? 
because you realize what kind of snake pit you in. You get as offended as you like. All right. All right. So <clears throat> I know I have to be careful when making these videos and that's okay too. I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with it. So until the next video, you go ahead, like, and subscribe. So until the next video, drive safe and drive with confidence.